Hi, this is Mike with Revolution Imager. Congratulations on purchasing your new imager. Today we're going to show you how to unbox it and set it up. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is unzip the shockproof carrying case here. We have a whole bunch of pieces in here to look at and set up. The first thing is you'll notice that we have the uh, inventory card and directions on exactly how to get the most out of your imager by visiting our website. So we do hope that you do that. And we have the seven inch color monitor right here. It simply comes out of the carry case with those two little buttons on the side. And what we're gonna do here quickly, hopefully, is set up the uh, tabletop display so we can uh, see exactly how this goes together. Just screw that in right there and set that up. There we go. So that's your seven inch color monitor ready to go. The next thing is the heart and soul of the imager, the camera system actually itself. It has a little uh, cap that either unscrews or pulls off right there, and we're gonna set that aside. Then we have the universal inch and a quarter adapter right here. The inch and a quarter universal adapter uh, is, is simply just screws right in, right like that. And now you can see uh, this fits just about every telescope ever made inch and a quarter right there. The other thing that we want to do is find the 0.5 focal reducer. The focal reducer, what this is going to enable you to do is, is give you a wider field of view. Um, when you're first trying to find things through the telescope, it can be uh, 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 challenging because um, you're trying to find exactly where the telescope is pointed. This gives you a wider field of view so you find your targets much easier, much more quickly. The next thing that we need is the uh, rechargeable lithium ion battery right there. So we're just gonna set that down right there. Uh, and then we have uh, the, what we call the umbilical cable. The umbilical cable, while daunting at first, is really quite simple. It just has four simple connections that you need to, to attach this to make everything work. The first easiest connection to find has the wired remote on it, and it's what, it's what I call the little Frankenstein connector right here. It's a BNC plug that simply rotates in the back, presses, and locks in place. Since we're at the back of the camera, let's find the power connection for that also. The power connector, there's two power connectors. They look very similar. Uh, one is on one side where it has the, the two cords and the other is on the single side. The back of the, the power for the camera is on the two-sided uh, power cord right here. So we'll plug that in right to the back of the camera. And then since we've already identified the other side goes directly to the rechargeable lithium ion battery and just simply plug that in. The next cord uh, and the final cord is the uh, monitor cable. The monitor cable is a unique cord in that it's directional. So what I always do is I kind of press it together first and then you'll find a place where it begins to go together, then firmly seat it all the way. That's all you need to do. Four simple connections and now you're ready to go explore the universe with a powerful technology that's gonna let you see galaxies, color in nebula, the moon, planets, even a bird on a wire a mile away. Truly, simply amazing. Uh, now, if we, if we uh, had the telescope set up outside, all we would need to do is turn the battery on right there. And when I turn the battery on, I can see that a little green light comes on at the back of the uh, camera and also the uh, monitor, the color monitor has also come on. And just if I wanted to quickly test it, I could put my hand over the uh, 0.5 reducer and you can see how the light comes on and off. So you're ready to go out and observe the universe right now. Uh, wait for dark. If it's dark, go outside. Now's the time to go explore. Thanks for purchasing your Revolution Imager. Visit us on the website. Thanks.